We're building up to that uh, final game, the big game uh, that uh, we've all been waiting for, the Champions League final. Two big teams go head to head. It is Manchester City who will be taking on Inter Milan. Uh, and I've got Jofre Mateo joining me on this broadcast as we talk about that final. Jofre, firstly, uh, your impressions as far as uh, the, this match is concerned, how excited are you? Well, it's going to be a great match. I think uh, when you are uh, um, you know, facing this this kind of game at the end of the season is because both teams deserve. I think everyone is expecting or is waiting for um, a patron uh, because City is always forcing you to play as they as they want. Uh, but Inter Milan knows how to resist. Probably Inzaghi, you know, he showed how he prepared the finals previously. So. Um, it, it's not going to be very surprising. It's uh, of course the the score uh, is nothing that we can reveal now, but we 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 can imagine and we can predict how the game is going to be with uh, you know mm -hmm. City's possession. Uh, I don't know how many chances they are going to have able to create in terms on uh, inter Milan resistance, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, extraordinary players, good moment, yeah. nice environment. So, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't really, as you said, you, we can't really predict everything about the match, but we can certainly talk about matchups. We can talk about strategy. And of the key points, and I just want to elaborate, uh, and, and I don't want to pick your brains over there as well. Is that going to be the key for Inter Milan as well? to resist as much as possible and frustrate uh, the attacking line of Manchester City? Because we've seen at times that Erling Haaland is out of possession and if, he, if he's frustrated for the ball, then you, that's where you sort of, as the opposition, have a little bit of a chance of attacking Manchester City. Could that be the game plan for Inter Milan? Yes, yeah, resistance. But you cannot resist just being deep, waiting for... And, uh, you know, not without any contrast, with any transition. Uh, we'll see who Inzaghi is picking on top, if Lukaku or Zeko, because Lautaro is going to be the other one, you know, just trying to force Stones to, you know, run back. And uh, Ruben Diaz or, I don't know, Walker probably in these corrections. But uh, Inter Milan is going to need as, ball, as many balls as he can uh, put both wings not 90 minutes with the other three stoppers, you know, on the same level. So probably winning some um, uh, positions on top, trying to go high, forcing Bernardo and and um, mm -hmm. Grealish to not being always ready to attack but defend too. So there's something very uh, interesting with Inzaghi's proposal. But yeah, uh, City is always. Uh, condition in the context and probably with uh, Inter de Milan and Inzaghi's plan is going to be even more because they know that we are 90 minutes to resist and then uh, yes, uh, try to finish our our chances. But correct me if I'm wrong, if, if, if Inter go in with that mindset of just uh, trying to resist City for 90 minutes and beyond, would their only game plan be to then play on the counter and would that be their only plan going forward? Yes, um, uh, I'm sure that Inzaghi is preparing not being the 90 minutes just resisting and on my own pitch, my own half, you know, close to Onana and, uh, uh, you know, making the balance. Of course, he's preparing something because uh, you have to make cities running back, uh, not being De Bruyne or uh, Bernardo especially or Gundo appearing in some um, different, but I think it's more about how City is conditioning you and Guardiola prepares everything. Okay, you are pressing high, so I leave here. Bernardo, I leave here. Kevin De Bruyne, Haaland is coming a little bit. So these spaces, these holes that you are leaving for us, they are going to be very dangerous. So that's why I think without Inzaghi's will, at the end, I'm imagining the contact's very close to the second leg semi-final in, in the Etihad. I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened. But I think the the scenario and the contest is going to be, the game is going to be very close to that. Yeah. 
we will talk about uh, you know some of the city superstars you mentioned about bernardo you mentioned about haland but let us also talk about elka edwardo and someone who's come close to getting a hat trick on a couple of occasions in the recent couple of weeks uh, you think this uh, grand stage could finally be that moment where uh, he he gets that uh, hat trick and what is it that he changes about himself in these big matches that he becomes such a lethal player well probably that um clever player and uh, when you are involved in a team in a squad where all the players are very important and crucial and are stars with a lot of talent um the way that you read the spaces that you uh, take profit about some um uh, holes that the opponents are leaving you that aspect gundo is the best player knows the timing and and read especially well where the space is going to be free and that's my time to appear so i think that's why he's feeling very well because if you are just trying to stop that gundo appearances then okay then halan is receiving and finishing or the broin is shooting or bernardo is one by one there so that's why guardiola has a lot of variations and that's why city is probably the best team Right. Also, just just a quick question though. You know, given the you know strengths and weaknesses of both the sides, uh, if you could take a holistic look at, at, at the strengths and weaknesses, then probably comment on where exactly do you think the match will be won or lost for the two teams? Well, um, I am sure that City can lose the game in transitions. Uh, Inter de Milan catch you in a couple of. Uh, um attacks and you are not you know uh trying to control lautaro set pieces too but not so because city is quite good defending set pieces but in transitions that's where i think city can lose but they have walker uh to correct especially walker and um uh, yeah inter de milan uh is is going to be on uh, especially uh how to say behavior in terms on defending collaboration because again they have so many things and even in the second half if feel for them with mare so 90 minutes running but running well coordinate and um far from your where uh you know uh, uh yeah. edison is so uh, it, it's going to be a very difficult game for inzaghi's men but they already know it and they are preparing i think so uh, when mm-hmm. you already know that it's going to be uh, something how to say you know uh, very sacrificed uh, i'm sure that at the end uh, uh, inter milan uh, are uh, under this plan But could could it also be the case? You know, we we've heard uh, Inzaghi speak highly of Pep Guardiola and some of the Inter players as well. Uh, you know, they've been heaping praise on the way Manchester City have been playing over the last few months. Rather, I would say, uh, could that also be, uh, let's say, in many ways, uh, you know, instilling some sort of uh, a fear factor? Do you think uh, that there's one side that is walking into the final as uh, a side that's inferior to uh, the English champions? Yeah, I think it's a motivation for Inter Milan that everyone is, uh, even me, you no, know, imagining one uh, a scenario, imagining not only City is winning but you know smashing or you know having everything under control. And of course, Inter Milan uh, is you know a Champions League final team because they are mm, very close to extraordinary and uh, they have a lot of talent. If you are imagining, you know, Lukaku, Zeko, Lautaro, Barella. uh the bastoni they they have australianis uh player so that's why i think yeah is one aspect that i'm sure inzaghi is 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 touching no when where with mm. uh, his players everybody is counting on cities but we are here so let's fight but again even you know that you are going to fight and you are going to be there the the plan is under uh guardiola's proposal i'm completely sure <laughs> <laughs> right we'll wait and see if uh, you know as to as to what plans Nagi comes up with is he then able to um, in many ways 
outsmart Pep Guardiola. But very quickly, uh, if I can get a quick prediction from you both in terms of the winner and the scoreline. Well, prediction is uh, City's winning. City is going to be the champion. That's my prediction. The scoreline, it, it, it's probably if you score in the first half and you force Inter de Milan to, you know, open a little bit the the uh, the plan, open the the five three lines uh, very deep, very low. I think uh, I, I'm I'm imagining two three zero for City. Because uh, they are able to score in many in many ways, and when you score one, of course, Inter de Milan has no chance to just react and try another thing. But um, well, or a short or not very big, but comfortable win for City. All right, then, Geoffrey, you call it a City treble. It is. Let's see then if uh, that is uh, ultimately going to be the case. Thank you all so much for joining us for this uh, for this uh, broadcast. Uh, and uh, don't forget to catch the uh, Champions League final on the, the Sony Sports Network on 10-2. You can see it in English and uh, on Sony Sports 10-3. You'll find the match being broadcast in Hindi. Thanks a lot for joining us for this particular interaction.